Hello, this is Gabe, and that's Jalan, and this is Morrowind, and there's a Romer over there trying to kill me. And I know that because I've been trying to record this session three times now. So I've set up a Bandicam to stop the recording 15 minutes in on its own and start a new one. So you're going to notice a little bit of a hiccup because it doesn't quite do it perfectly with the Morrowind and the transitions. Uh, the reason I've had issues is because Morrowind keeps crashing and I keep losing the recording data for some weird reason. And I think it's just because, you know, I've left my computer on for a while. So, um, what I did was restart my computer. Reboots tend to help things. Uh, and if it does it again, at least I'll have half the episode done. And I'm going to save at that point, and then we can just do the other half. And it'll be good. Now, when we last left off, I was going to some tell of what's a high, what do you call it? In the jigger thingy here. Let me see. Tell Honoria. Never heard of the place before until that lady told me. I've never been there. And it kind of sucks that the other recordings got corrupted, because I found a couple of fun things that I'd never seen before. So let's hope we can do that again. Yeah, you know what? Why don't you be a bit more polite? Ooh. We'll go there. Sorry about that little beep there. Good god, the loading area took forever. Have I been here before? Oh, I thought I was going to crash there again. Huh. Oh, I know what this place is. I have been here before, not during this Let's Play, though. This is not one of the greatest places in the world. Actually, why am I even bothering going up there? Ah, uh, you! I know I just arrived, but this is like a bus stop, and I don't really need anything here, so... You know... Places! Old Bosara. Is that where I just came from? It is! Well, he only goes one place, so... I'll go to the other place. Ha! What now? Ooh, now this is pretty. Um, there's my. There we go. I'm trying to get a screenshot. I hit the wrong key. Where do you go to? Telawada, that's not the place I need. Although the place I need starts with an O. Out of the way, Jalon. Ah, I've been here, yes. And I know for a fact that boat doesn't really go anywhere where I need to be. You know what? Let's go to Telawada. I haven't been there in a while. And we'll see where I can go from there. Lots of traveling in this one. Port Telvanes, though. We're going there. Because it's going to have access to port. Full of slaves. And a quest I have yet to do. Hello. Have I seen the boss? Oh, ha <laughs> ha. I asked you without even asking you. You don't go where I want. Huh. I mean, I could try to get the the armor that uh, was stolen. I can't remember what kind of reward you get for that, but I don't think it's anything stellar. Otherwise, I'd probably have remembered it.
Hmm. Maybe Telawada is a good idea. And I want to actually deliver this letter. And then I, I, I guess on my way back I could stop by at Port Telvanis and chase down that little Bosma freak and, uh, yeah. Get that armor back. Better be worth it, too. I still don't know where this place is, despite trying to record this twice. How do you know me? Uh, I'm an infamous outlaw, you may have heard of me. Called the Narrow Marine. Yeah, you don't go anywhere. Put on a quick save, why not? Never auto save. Oh, I almost fell off that edge. Silt Strider. Where do you go? Hmm. We make a special trip just for you. So That's you know. there. Was the other one? Where's that at, though? Oh, wait. I mean, it's got to be a place that has uh, still straight access. I don't think I've been there. Not where I want to go, though. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I'm assuming there's more Tavani towns up here. I should go up there, I guess. Ooh. The music just suddenly changed. Boethia Mountain? Yo, I think the Boethia Mountain range just spans the entirety of Tamriovi Belt. Kinda seems that way. It's one heck of a mountain range. I think it's earned its name. Wow, this place is just beautiful. Especially with the cloudy skies. I love cloudy skies. Dun, 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 dun. Da, da, da. You know, I once modded Morrowind. I, I'm not much of a modder, by the way. I'm trying to get more into modding. But, uh, this kind of modification is a bit different. It was in the INI file, and I made it cloudy all the time. Never any sunshine. That was just some interesting times. It was actually, I did it because I had the Black Sun of Death problem. Because, uh, I think it was AMD. It's either my graphics card was AMD, or I had Windows Vista, or one or the other. Caused the sun to become a giant black orb with black rays coming out of it. it. Just wasn't very, you know, lore friendly, and it was also rather distracting. So I just did that, and I, I enjoyed it. When I got a new computer, we installed Morrowind. I never did that because I wanted to have the different weather types, and you know, sunny, partly cloudy. I mean, it, it rained in game, mind you, when I did that, but. It was still, it was nice to be able to turn it back and have different phases, because even someone who loves cloudy days gets tired of it once in a while. I like how it made the damage sound, I didn't take any damage. Oh, 68 or 69. Well, wait, but it says 68 total. Did I just get like a downgrade in my overall health because I hit the ground? That would be weird. Go across to that place. And these are areas I've never been before. Sea of Ghosts. Oh god, I love Marwin music so much. 
I really think what I should do is make a ring that makes my character almost completely invisible and just kind of stand somewhere and record the sounds of Morrowind for a while and do like a 10 hour loop on YouTube 10 hour ambient Morrowind with Morrowind music in the background that'd be interesting just like Morrowind ambience in general would be awesome I'm gonna cast Flying Gabe because this isn't gonna last much longer and Flying Gabe will Huh. I don't see any Telvanni towns near here, but I see that. I don't know what that is. But I know it's not where I need to be. Because there's no giant mushrooms. And if you're Telvanni, you have giant mushrooms. That is how the Telvanni do. Oh, Firewatch. Hello. Well, maybe it's on that northern island. I doubt it. I don't have enough magic, of course. Smart move there, Gabe. You've got to take your magic up potions. I like the fact that you can indeed drag the whole stack to your character, but he does not drink them all. And just imagine binging yourself on magic of potions. Would you feel sick afterwards because you drank too much, or would it just not really have an effect on you? These are things I need answers to in my life. Someone go Google that for me. It's actually some pretty interesting terrain here. All kinds of screenshots today. And whatever's chasing me, just give up. Like, seriously. That island looks so desolate. I doubt there's anything there. You know, population-wise. I mean, there could be, like, little caves and whatnot, but I'm not thinking a whole city settlement would be at the top. But you never know. You never know. The Telvanni are weird. They're very weird. And cruel. But I'm not seeing anything, and usually at this distance, you can see, yeah, you can see Dwemer ruins from here, but you can't see any, uh, Delvani town. Hmm. Now, see, if this lady had given me a general idea, would have been nice. Oh, there's a shack there, though. Maybe the person in the shack knows. Maybe the person in the shack doesn't know. There's a boat. A boat and a shack. Tells me that there's probably a town here. On this little desolate piece of land. Friendly Guar or not so friendly? Well, there is a town here. Popped up with a name, Wild Gore. Sorry, dude. Stuff happens. Ooh, here we go. Hello, peoples and places and things. Nouns. Basically, I'm saying hello to you, nouns. I should talk to these people. Just a second, we're gonna do a quick save. Yes, I called it save for no crashy. Okay. I went ahead and did an auto restart on the recording. That way, there's no, like, major bump. Just a sound difference. Ah. Warm fire. 
let's see here. Ooh, actually, Jalad, real quick. Hey, buddy. Thank you. I know you'll never give me back that gold. Thank you. And do I... Do I have any hammers on you I can take? No, I don't. Hmm. Well, they'll probably not know where that Talvani town is, but uh, let's talk to the guy at the gate. Ew. There aren't many outlanders here, Breton. The slow and sluggish nature of the local economy tends to keep adventurers like yourself away. What about the local economy? The people of Baramu are pretty humble. The small amount of fishing we do supplements the wick wheat and muck sponge that we grow here. Nobody here is rich, but we get by. Now well, that's actually a pretty good uh, lifestyle. Living in the community together, you know, helping each other out. So tell me about this little town you got going on then. Bramu is just a poor village. We live in humble shacks or in caves dug out from the hills. Now, see, the caves would probably be better to live in than the shacks. Better insulation, better everything. But anyway, we grow our crops here on the Lonely Island. We fish around the coasts of the Molagherd region in our tiny vessels. There's not much that we would be interesting for one such as yourself. Kinda sounds like you're trying to get me to leave. Maybe there's something you're hiding from me. I'm gonna hit you with something. Don't worry, this won't hurt. Nope, that was me jumping. And me going forward. Where's the right key? Come on. Nope, wrong key. There we go. Now will you tell me more about the local economy? Buddy? Or your town? Nope. Nope, you won't. Wow. Isolated the tip of Morrowind. Tell me about uh, the latest rumors around here. Ooh, they lost supply caravans. That's not good. I guess it is good for you, though. Tell me about House Telvani, actually. Maybe you'll know where this place is. Huh, you don't know anything, do you? Um, hmm. Well, you're not of much use to me. Wow, she still hates me. Why are you in Baruma, my Gabriel man? I'm the only visitor this place has had for a while. I'm just here to collect taxes. Oh, tell me about that. Yes, I've been sent here from the Parliament of Bugs to collect that which belongs to them. I suspect they're not telling me everything that should be th that they should be, though. Wait, 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 hold on. Let me hit you with the spell again. Hold still! Oh, for the love of God. There! Now, tell me about the taxes. Here, take a hundred gold. You're useless, aren't you? I just wasted a hundred gold on you. I get her any Darn. Hello. That work. Well, I'm already on a mission, but hey, give me some work. Okay, fine. These people are weird. You don't really want to say anything, do you? Let's tell Vonda Customs. Hmm. Hmm. Cave dwelling. Hmm. 
You know, I wonder, I wonder if that lady actually does have work. She's just not telling me because her disposition is low towards me. Drink another one of those. You just don't want to say anything, do you? You're evil. I mean, he's the only one I can ask about the local economy, though. I don't know. I just have a feeling there's a bit more going on in this because they keep hinting that it's you know out of the way and you know just not not important. No one would want to be here. We don't need outsiders. The fact that collect taxes is highlighted on her. This is going to be a waste, but I never use the stuff anyway, so. Don't they have a charm scroll somewhere? Maybe? I could frenzy her. That wouldn't be very nice, though. I don't have a charm scroll. Well, at least my Talvani bug musk is going to good use. Sort of. I don't think she's going to tell me anything, is she? Worth it! Nope. Nothing. Fine. Well, my personality's at 202. I'll just talk to everyone. Everybody loves me now. You don't have any work, really. I mean, the only one standing around out here. Maybe I should go into someone's hut. about places, but you don't have... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold up here. Go to Marag. <sighs> wow. I'm stupid. Where's Marag? Have you ever been there before? Oh, no, I haven't. Well... You don't know about that place either, Marag. Hmm. Now I know where I need to go. 
and it's not here. I will come back to this place, though, because now I want to know what's going on in this little town that's so secretive. Maybe nothing. Maybe something. Maybe everything. But I'm just suspicious. Then again, I'm like that with everybody. Just not so vocal about it all the time. Oh, I thought there was a boat guy. Oh, you know what? I went to the wrong side. Don't have enough charge either. It is a nice looking town though. You know, a little homely place. Everybody knows everybody. And probably half the marine bread, but you know, it it's it is what it is. They're tough on it. That's what I expect. Oh god, it's gonna hurt. Ow. Jump first, think later. Good job, Gabe. Good job. Hello? No, I just want to get the heck out of here. Whoa. This is actually really nice. Little Imperial Town. Not where I need to be. Where's the boat guy? No, seriously, where's the person who does the boat stuff? Anybody at all? No. Well, fine then. Oh, there's musk flies everywhere. I needed the help. I thought he was going to go over there. Ha! Ah. What's with all the musk flies? Does this sound like abandoned? The journal has been updated. Well. I think here's a good place to stop. Actually, before I do that, let's check my journal. When I reached Balamore, I found the town was infested with musk flies. I believe I've killed them all. Okay. Yeah. We're going to stop the episode here. And when we come back, um, we will be looking for the source of these musk flies, apparently. Because that's important. And we will also be trying to deliver this letter, which I've been trying to do this whole time. Uh, until next time, this is Gavin Jalon, signing off.